So Gucci Mane actually dropped one of his rappers one day after signing him. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DXLE Podcast and check this out. So Gucci Mane has continued to prove his ruthlessness as a record executive by dropping an artist from his 1017 label just one day after signing him. On Tuesday, November 2nd, Guwap announced on Twitter that buzzing rapper Baby Rax is no longer a part of his label. He sarcastically congratulated Baby Rax for becoming the first artist to get signed and dropped in a day. Congratulations to Baby Rax 1017, first artist to get signed and dropped in a day. That dude is not signed in 1017. Gucci wrote in a since deleted tweet. Baby Rack's canceled deal appeared to stem from disparaging comments he made about the city of Houston, Texas, where Migos rapper Takeoff was tragically shot and killed earlier this week. I'm definitely not effing with Houston after that. Don't book me because Baby Rack's ain't coming. Rax tweeted after Takeoff's death. Baby Rax appeared to shrug off the humiliation as he fired back at Gucci Mane with a sarcastic tweet of his own. Congratulations to Baby Rax, party and face emoji. Appreciate the video, appreciate flying me out, I appreciate that check Atlantic Records sent, thank you Gucci. He then seemingly taunted Gucci by asking Jeezy, Yo Gotti, and NBA Youngboy who've had issues with Gucci in the past for a record deal. I'm a free agent now, Youngboy get at me, Yo Gotti what's up, Jeezy holla at me, he added before tagging fellow label heads Rick Ross and Quality Control's Pierre P. Thomas. Even though he spent a very short time on 1017, Baby Rax was able to secure a collaboration with Gucci Mane. In September, they dropped Look Ma, I Did It, along with an accompanying music video that has over 1 million views on YouTube. Gucci's imprint has had its fair share of roster changes over the years. The record label started out as 1017 Brick Squad in 2010, with the first artist being OJ the Juice Man and Waka Flocka Flame. Beef between Gucci and Waka saw the label go through a rough period, resulting in the No Hands rapper being dropped. Things changed again in 2016 when Gucci rebranded his label 1017 Eskimo in partnership with Alamo Empire Distribution. Four years later, Gucci renamed the label again as 1017 Global Music LLC and signed a distribution deal with Atlantic. He released a compilation album titled Gucci Mane Presents So Icy Summer in July 2020, introducing his new crop of artists, including Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano. But what do you think about Baby Racks getting dropped from 1017? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to HipHopDX.com.